A member of the River State Governor Siminalai Fubara announced his administration's commitment to improving the welfare of health professionals by creating a conducive environment for their efforts, as revealed by Dr. Radezi or Ore during the 64th Nigerian Medical Association River State Branch Annual General Meeting and Scientific Conference in Port Harcourt. If we interrogate why health sector practitioners leave, remuneration is one of the key factors. Other factors include the working environment, the environment within, the work, within which they work, the tools at their disposal, the facilities on hand for them to work with. And so if we go through His Excellency's activities and initiatives, which he has started, some completed, and many ongoing, we'll see that he is taking many of these factors into consideration. He has announced the employment of 1,000 health workers to reduce the burden of those who are still working and giving of themselves to the River State Health Sector. That will alleviate a significant burden on the health workforce in River State. Dr. Ore emphasizes the governor's efforts to make healthcare professionals comfortable and attract diaspora professionals to River State quality healthcare services. The Nigerian Medical Association, Dr. A.B. Robinson, suggests training health professionals can help reverse health sector brain drain. There is the ongoing completion works, revitalization works of zonal hospitals, a new general hospital in Rumibo in Obia, all local government area, the ongoing construction of a drug rehabilitation center, upgrading of the neuropsychiatric hospital here in River State. These are some of the infrastructure projects which are infusing a sense of optimism and excitement in the health sector because of the issues surrounding mental health, the issues surrounding poor access to health care for many in our communities. Aside from this, His Excellency has mentioned on numerous occasions that health care, education and agriculture are his three main areas of focus for transformation in his time in office. As we convey for this annual general meeting, let us affirm our dedication to upholding the highest standards of medical practice, advocating for improved healthcare and fostering professional development within our association. I am emphatically confident that through constructive advocacy dialogue and collaboration, and we will chart a path towards sustainable progress in healthcare delivery system in the state and by extension. To the country at large. We, we need to have three, three approaches. We need to train, we need to retain, and we need to reform. Okay? So now, train means that you've got, you got to produce more doctors. And producing more doctors means that teachers have to step up, which means that you know, teachers are usually postgrad consultants, and so they need to step up and train more doctors. And so the second one is uh, we need to make the work environment conducive to retain staff. Means that people should have a clear, a clear career pathway. And then thirdly, we, we need to reform the system. The system, the way, the way doctors are employed, the way doctors are, are supported should change. So in that way, with all these approaches, which most the last two will come from the institutions and government, united by that shared vision to do more for society, to improve our professional competence and to improve health service delivery in the country. Together, we achieve more. And so this gathering today should help us to foster collaborations for improved coordination. Dr. Robinson advocates for prioritizing health care across government levels to reduce the health sector brain drain. Highlights include book launches for medical professionals and Rivers State Governor Award. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.